Now to the war in Ukraine. New images show Russian troops making their way to Ukraine's Donbas region after regrouping from their failure to take Kyiv. Meantime, in an interview with 60 Minutes, Ukraine's president says more support is needed from the U.S. Ukraine is preparing for a robust Russian offensive in the east. Everybody a bit scared. That's normal. That's war. New satellite images show an eight-mile convoy of Russian military vehicles headed to the Donbass region. Ukrainian army volunteers are digging in and short on weapons, fixing this abandoned Russian tank they hope to use. After a missile hit this train station on Friday, killing more than 50 people, some towns have emptied out as civilians flee the violence. The fightings are becoming heavier and heavier, but we will fight till the death. Noting the success of Ukrainian forces in the north. The Ukrainians won the Battle of Kyiv. National Russia Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told CBS's Face the Nation American the U.S. and its allies will keep providing weapons. Some of that's been delivered, some of it's on the way, and some some of it we're still working to source. Speaking to 60 Minutes correspondent Scott Pelley, <inaudible> Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says he is grateful for President Biden's support and his country's survival depends on it continuing. President Biden can enter history as the person who stood shoulder to shoulder with the Ukrainian people. A new CBS News YouGov poll found 72 percent of Americans support sending weapons and supplies to Ukraine. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News.